This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. I'm using Autodesk AutoCAD 2018 um, to have the students manually program CNC and to do that we create a box 75 by 75 in one of my other uh, videos you'll see that and then the student pro traces everything so this should all be in quadrant one based on Cartesian plane. This should be 0, 0, 0 and everything should be related back. Now Often what will happen is students will start doing their drawing and whatnot and not realize that they're not at 000. So they'll go start programming it and wonder why the program's not working. So this is how you rectify that. I'm going to move this to the whole entire thing to 00. So first of all, let's check and see where we are currently. And if you go ID point and you click here, you'll see it's it's nowhere near 00. It's way off. It's negative. It's 16 and 340. So we escape that. And down in here, we're going to type dyne mode. And it's currently set to zero, which is right. This is the way you want it. But if yours is one, it won't move properly. So you're going to go zero, enter, just confirm that it is in fact that. Then what you do is you come into here and you highlight or window the whole thing, and you got to make sure everything's windowed in like that. Otherwise, just the image, just part of the part will move. This is going to move the image and everything. Then you right click. You're going to go move, and we have to give it an origin point to start from. So we're going to tell it this is our origin point here, and now down at the bottom. We're going to type in hashtag or pound, whatever you want to call it, enter, number sign, and then we're going to tell it where to go. We want it to go zero, zero, zero. Now there's no comma at the, after the last zero. You just hit enter. And now if you scroll out and move over and scroll in, you're going to see that it is in fact parked right down at zero, zero. Still a good idea now to check and make sure it is So before you start programming. So, Measure ID point, come in there and check it, and you can see everything's at 000 now. So now we can program in quadrant one, no problem at all.